Shalom, Yasharala. Peace, Israel. First off, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka Kadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Mostar, who rule well and who has taught us this truth. And salutation to the hopeful elect out there laboring in truth and sincerity on the four corners of the earth, under the standard and the banner of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka Kadash. Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, who people ignorantly calls God. And Yahweh Shah being the name of his only begotten son, our Lord and Savior, who people ignorantly call Jesus Christ, but truly his name is Yahweh Shah. Yahweh in the Hebrew, Yahweh in Hebrew means he is, he, he is, he exists. Yahweh Shah means he saves, he delivers. All right. And um, Bahashem is in the name. Raka Kadash is the Holy Spirit. All right. And this is the brother Karab here from the GMS Boston camp. You know, I um, just want to touch on a, on, on a quick lesson, you know, on uh, Lord's will that this lesson be edifying. All right, and um, you know, I've just been uh, meditating on on this lesson and on some scriptures, and you know, just just going into how with wisdom, you you receive many benefits. All right, so it it, 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 it you know as the scriptures say, man, um, wisdom is the principal thing. All right, and with all like getting, get understanding. All right, which you know, I'm gonna just grab it. All right. Here. All right, this is Proverbs 4 and 7, and it reads, Wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding, all right? So, as I mentioned, um, when, when you receive knowledge, wisdom, understanding, you, you receive benefits that comes with it, all right? It might not be right away it might not come exactly you know what i'm saying the time where you you want it to come but it's all going to come on the lord's time all right but one thing is guaranteed is that with wisdom and he and the person that dwelleth with wisdom he's going to receive these benefits lord's will that he hold on and keep fast and hold fast to that which he has all right so i want to go into a, a, a few precepts showing that how you know with wisdom just like king solomon with wisdom uh you, you, you know what I'm saying? How King Solomon prayed for wisdom, but he also received um, honor. He also received riches. And and, and also uh, um, when the scripture says that uh, if he keep the commandments as well, he may receive long life. All right. A long life. So showing you that the uh, the elect, the hundred and forty four thousand uh, thousand will receive, will receive uh, uh, um, honor. They will receive uh, riches and it will receive a long life. Uh, with with all that, before all that, that's that's with them receiving wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right. So I'm gonna go to second uh, Salakia, um, Psalms the second chapter, and I'm gonna read the tenth verse. It says, "Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth." All right, and. And the reason why I brought this out because it says be wise. It's telling. It's telling. It's telling. It says be wise now, therefore, O ye kings. All right, and be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Who are the judges of the earth? All right, it's, it's our people. It's it's, it's it's the Hebrew Israelites, the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, Native and Seminole Indians. All right, we're the judges of the earth. All right, and and, and what proves that as well is our uh, Job nine and twenty-four. Because it says, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He cover the faces of the judges thereof. All right. Primarily, the main judge is, is Yahweh Shah. All right. Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah. Yahweh, Yahweh Shah are the main judges. All right. So you have the Heavenly Father where they paint him, uh, they painted him uh, uh, white, uh, uh, white. All right. They painted him to be an Edomite. Um, they have Yahweh Shah, who people ignorantly call Jesus. They painted him. You know what I'm saying? All going back to Caesar Borgia, all right. They painted his image, so they 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 they, they uh cover the faces of, of the main judges, all right. But also, when it says he he covered the faces of the judges thereof. It's also talking about our people. Why? Because when you go to Psalms um the eighty the eighty third chapter, it says cut them, cut off Israel, uh cut cut them off as a, a people or a nation, so Israel will be no more in remembrance. So now we don't even look at ourselves as priests, as the scripture says, uh, a, 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 ro a royal priesthood. You know, we don't look at ourselves as priests. We don't look at ourselves as kings. We don't look at ourselves as judges. 
you know. But once you come into this truth, you come back to that knowledge to know that we was we 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 are priests, we are judges, and we are kings. All right, those will soon to be kings. All right, so it's so, and that's what I'm saying. Uh, uh, you go back to the Salaki. When you go back to Salaki, bear with me. Go back to Psalms, the second chapter. Read it again. And it says, um, Psalms 2 and 10. Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth. And it's talking about it's talking about our people once again. All right. And it says, Serve the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushah, with fear and rejoice with trembling. All right. And it says, Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. All right. And um, let me get this next precept. Um, Salaki, where is that? It says uh, Proverbs, was it nine? So okay, Proverbs nine, and I think it's ten. Con. All right. It says Proverbs nine and ten, and it read, "The fear of the Lord Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding." All right. Pertaining unto also another precept to go with that as well is Proverbs uh, one and seven. All right. So it says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So primarily that's what it's saying that, that um, you know, fear the Lord and rejoice in, with trembling. All right. Because with wisdom, you know that Yahweh Bahashim Yahushah ruleth in the kingdom of men. All right. And one thing he does is he take pleasure and he uh, he take pleasure in the man that dealeth with wisdom. All right. So with that, Salaki, let me go to my notes real quick. Just to make sure I keep everything intact. Alright. And with that, you know, the hence why we have King Solomon, who, if you can receive it, is Yahweh Shah, you know, uh King Solomon being a wise king, and before he came before he even was um when he before he was even uh brought forth to be, you know what I'm saying? Because he was he was next up under his father, uh King David. All right, but one thing he asks, he asks the Heavenly Father for wisdom. All right, so I'm going to go to Wisdom of Solomon real quick, and then I'm going to go into that, that account. Wisdom of Solomon 6, verse 7, it shows you how wisdom is, is, is beautiful to receive and have wisdom from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh All right, because there's also wisdom of this world, which the Most High do not take pleasure in. All right, and it says, um, but the wisdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh ruleth. All right, in the reign supreme, because it's coming from the the the, the omnipotent, the uh, the Most High, which is omnipotent. He's all powerful. All right, and it says, um, Wisdom of Solomon six and seven, six verse seven, for he which is Lord over all shall fear no man, no man's person, neither shall he stand in awe of any man's greatness, for he hath made the small and and great, and cared for all alike. But a sore trial shall come upon the mighty. All right, and this is this is now uh, elaborating more, going into to, to what I was talking about. All right, and it says this going back to uh, talking about those kings. All right, and it says unto you, therefore, O kings, do I speak that you may learn wisdom, and not fall away. So when you, you he says to learn wisdom, just like the scripture says, um, wisdom is the uh, principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. All right. So you got to learn wisdom. And, and what is wisdom? What's the beginning of wisdom is fearing Yahweh Hashem Yahweh All right. Because that, that, that you fearing Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, you're counted as wise. All right. But that's just the beginning. All right. And it says, and not fall away. All right. So if you cleave on or hold on to it, you know, and, and, and don't and don't depart from it, you know, you should you should be good. You should be sustained. All right. And it says. For they that keep holiness holy, holily shall be judged holy. All right? Because the scripture also talks about um, um, you judging the matter. You should also be judged according to that same matter that you judge. All right? Roughly paraphrasing. All right? And, um, and it says, And they that have learned such things shall find what to answer. All right? It says, Wherefore set your affection upon my words. And desire them, and you shall and you shall be instructed. All right. So we shall be instructed. All right. Now I'm gonna jump on down 
Hold on, it's locking. Let me continue on real quick. It says, verse 12. Wisdom is glorious and never fadeth away. Yeah, she is easily seen of them that love her. All right. And found of such as seek her. She prevented them that desire her and making herself first known unto them. Whoso seek her early shall have no great travail, but he shall find her sitting at his door. All right. That's beautiful, right? Now I'm going to jump on down to verse 17. It says, for the very true beginning of her is the desire of discipline. All right. So the very, the, it says the, the very true beginning of her is the desire of discipline, which is also going into the fear of the Lord. All right. Because if you fear the Lord, you would want to correct yourself. All right. And discipline is a form of you correcting yourself. Let me, you know what, before that, let me look up the definition. All right. <clears throat> it says discipline, the practice or of training people to obey rules or a code of behavior using punishment to correct disobedience. And it says control. Hold on, let me let me open this up real quick. Okay, I guess not. All right. It says con some of the similars are control, regulation, direction, Order, all right. You don't forget that word order is is is, is, is you know we su we supposed to uh, um be in order until you how about shim and there's an order that is set up. You know what I'm saying within 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 the brotherhood, within the truth, and within your family structure, within the people that, uh, as a nation we su we have an order, all right. And it says authority, rule, strictness, a firm hand, routine. Regimen, training, teaching, instruction, drill, drilling, exercise, all right? Also says, a branch of knowledge, typically one study in higher education, right? And also says, verb, train someone to obey rules or a code of behavior using punishment to correct disobedience, all right? So, that's what it says, all right? So, it says, I'm uh, back at it again. Verse 17, it says, for the very true beginning of her is the desire of discipline. All right. Being in order, following rules, you know, even easing disciplining yourself, knowing, knowing yourself, correcting yourself. You know, saying not just only correcting yourself, following through, you know, and pushing to strive to be better. All right. Whether you have to uh, subtract something out of your life or add something into your life and stick to it. All right. And the cares of discipline is love, all right. By by you by you wanting to discipline yourself is a is a form of love, all right. Because you want to do better, and not just only you want to do better, you want to please your how about Shemiah Osha by doing these things, all right. And it says, and love is the keeping of her law, all right. And the giving heed unto her law is the assurance of incorruption, all right. It's the assurance of incorruption, all right. You don't want to. You don't. You don't want to find. You want to. You don't want to be fine. Uh, 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 corrupt or, 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 you know, what I'm saying because corruption is a form of iniquity. All right, which is iniquity, and also corruption is sin. So what's the other? What's what's on the other side of that? You know, you have incorruption. All right, you have incorruption. What makes you clean? What makes you um, you know, uh, how can I say? It, it makes you honorable. It makes you uh, how can I say? It, holy. All right. And incorruption maketh us near unto the Most High, Yahweh Shemayosha, because the Lord doesn't deal with filthiness; He does not deal with iniquity. All right. Hence, why when the, when there was certain there was laws that was saying if a child disobeys his parents, you know, and he take they take him to the priest, and 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 and, and, and if he still constantly uh, does the same thing, guess what? They they stone him. That way, that there will be no. Iniquity or, or no or no or no um how can I get no iniquity within it, uh, the nation of Israel Yasharala, all right. Just like uh committing adultery, you're putting away all manners of evil, and evil is a form of corruption. Evil is a form of uh, iniquity, all right, and in in, in in sin, all right. And it says therefore, so so when it says um, and in, in corruption making us near unto the Most High because um. The elder Yashawamba did a beautiful lesson 
You know, he did a beautiful lesson talking about cleaning out the temple. That way, the Most High can deal with us more. He can deal with us better. We can be closer to him. There's also a, a saying a saying that, you know, uh, I, 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 they was always used when I was growing up. They say cleanliness is next to godliness. All right. So it says, uh, verse 20. Therefore, the desire of wisdom bringeth to a kingdom. If your delight be then in thrones and in scepters, O ye kings of the people, honor wisdom that ye may reign forevermore. All right. Hence why I have this uh, have this picture. All right. So with, with, with wisdom, it said, you know what I mean, if you desire, if you delight, if your delight be in thrones and scepters, O ye kings, kings of the people, honor wisdom that you may reign more, all right? That you may be a, a king, and not just only that righteous king, that, 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 and, and, and you may rule forever, all right? So now I'm going to the next precept. Okay, come on, I'll go to the next precept, which is the, the account about King Solomon. All right, and this is First Kings three and three, and Solomon loved the Lord Yahweh, walking in the statues of his, of David his father. Only he sacrificed and burnt incense in the high places. And the king went to Gibeon to sacrifice there, there, for that was the great place, a great high place. A thousand burnt offerings did Solomon offer upon the altar. In Gibeon, the Lord Yahweh appeared to Solomon in the dream by night. And, 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 and Yahweh said, Ask what I shall give thee. And Solomon said, Thou hast showed me, showed unto thy servant David, my father, great mercies, according as he walked before thee in truth and in righteousness and in uprightness of heart with thee. And thou hast kept for, for him this great kindness, that thou hast given him a son to sit on his throne as it is this day. And now, O Lord, my power, thou hast made thy servant king instead of David, my father, but I am but a little child. And I know, and I know how to, I know not how to go out or come in. And I, and with that, you know, it, it's beautiful that that was mentioned because by reading that, what clicks in my mind is when Yahweh Shai was like, you know, you come, come, come as this little child or you have to be reborn again. All right. So you have to be reborn again to be taught the proper way. All right. Scripture also says, um, um, train a child in the way he should go. So when he get old, he should not depart from it. All right. So this is this is this is King Solomon saying he's a little child and he knows not how to go out or come in. All right. And hence why you have the, you know, us in the truth. Lord's will, we are part of that great uh, that, 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 that election, the hundred and forty four thousand. All right. You know, because we, when we came into, when I came into the truth, but also when brothers also came into the truth, the first thing that was required us to, for us to, to fear Yahweh Bashim Yahushah and also to receive wisdom. All right. And it says, and thy servant is in the midst of thy people, which thou hast chosen a great people that cannot be numbered nor counted for multitude. All right. And it's talking about Yasharala. It's talking about our people, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and native and Seminole Indians. Um, who are the Israelites, all right? And and, and at this time, these all um, all twelve all, all the tribes were together. The northern and the southern kingdom was together under King David and also under King Solomon. All right. And it says, uh, give therefore thy servant an understanding heart to judge thy people, that I may discern between good and bad, good and bad, for who is able to judge this that thy so great a people? All right. And you know, going pertaining to Deuteronomy 7 6. You know what I'm saying? Our people is a, is a special people unto the Lord. So King Solomon is asking for a, a wide a understanding heart to judge uh, the, the the nation of Yasharala. You know what I'm saying? Because they're a special people. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and it's something that the Most High uh, is going to tell him right afterwards. And it says, in the speech, please the Lord that Solomon had asked this thing. And Yahweh said unto him, Because thou hast asked this thing, and hast not asked for thyself long life, neither hast asked riches for thyself, nor hast asked the life of thine enemies, but hast asked for the asked for thyself understanding to discern judgment. All right, because once again, you know, uh, we're a nation of um, 
We're a nation of uh, kings, judges, and priests, all right? But this is King Solomon being a king and also being a, a wise judge, you know what I'm saying? And it says, uh, Behold, I have, I have done according to thy words. Lo, I have given thee a wise and understanding heart. So, all right? It says, The Most High gave him a wise and understanding heart. So that there was none like thee before like thee before thee, neither after thee shall any arise like unto thee. And I, I have also given thee that which thou hast not asked, both riches and honor, so that there shall be shall not be any among the kings like unto thee all thy days. And if thou wilt walk in my ways to keep my statutes and my commandments as the as thy father David did walk, then I will lengthen thy days. All right, and it says, and, and Solomon awoke, and behold, it was a dream, and he came to Jerusalem and stood before the ark of the covenant of the Lord, and offered a burnt incense, and offered peace offerings, and made a feast to all his servants. All right, so King Solomon asked for wisdom. All right, because it says, any man lack wisdom. Let me get it real quick. And it says, um, James, all right, and it says this, this is James 1 and 5, and it says, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask the Most High, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, that give it to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. And But let him ask in faith, not wavering, all right, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven, driven with the wind, with the wind and toss. All right. So when you ask, you got to ask the Most High, because He said, if any man lack wisdom, ask the Most High, He will give it to you. But but not just ask. You have to have faith. You have to believe that the Most High is able to give it to you. Because if not, you know, uh, that that creates doubt. If you you know, saying that creates doubt, which 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 I says like a wave is gonna drive you, uh, um, driven you with the wind and toss. So you know that that you you you're gonna have doubts. Uh, at, at, at any any point of time, Salaki. So it says you gotta ask with faith, and, and, and faith is um the evidence of things hoped for. Um, Salaki, faith is the substance of things hoped for, with the evidence of things not seen. So you have to believe in something. You have to believe that Yahweh Hashem Yahushua is willing to give you this faith, you know. But you also have to prep yourself. All right, going back into discipline. All right. So. Now, 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 connecting it to to the elect, all right? Because you know, we, 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 the scripture talks about being wise. You know, he said, "Therefore, I send you uh, as sheep among wolves." You know, so be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. You know, he's telling us to be um, we're we're we're, we're counted as um fools, but we are wise. Which I, which I'm gonna grab. What is it? Uh, First Corinthians four and ten. All right, and it says, "This is um, this is First Corinthians four and nine. For I think that Yahweh Bashimel Shah has set forth us the apostles last, as it was written, slacking as it were appointed to death. For we are made a spectacle unto the world and to angels and to men. We are fools for Yahweh Shah's sake." But ye are wise in your house, shot. All right. So we are fools to the world and to the people of the world. You know, we are fool for your house, shot's sake. But guess what? We are wise in your house, shot, because this is what he commanded us to do. All right. This is the way to go. This is this is this is where life resides and this truth and knowing the things of this of the scriptures and knowing the law, statutes, and commandments and 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 and, 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 and delighting in your house, shot. All right. It says, we are weak, but ye are strong. Ye are honorable, all right? Going back to that honor, having honor. It says, ye are honorable, but we are despised, all right? And when is that honor going to show? That honor is going to show, um, uh, what's that, um, Second Ezra, the second chapter. Put around the 40th, 40th uh, 41st verse, you know, when it said um, that, you know, the, the, the Yahweh Shah putting the crowns upon the men's heads that stood so stiffly for the words uh for the words of Yahweh Shah, you know, that's when that honor is gonna come. 
You know, but even before that, because the Lord also said he's going to make a man more precious than fine gold. You know, uh, knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of that time. So, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and also say he should be like a hiding place, you know. So, yeah, just showing you that, you know, that honor is going to come. That honor is going to come. It's just patience. You know, we all got to be patient in, 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 in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. And then I'm going to go to Matthews. 19 Matthew 19 uh, Salaki Let me see exactly 27 Alright Because like I said With wisdom comes great benefits Alright So therefore Like the scripture says Therefore uh, um, Get wisdom And with all I get And get understanding Alright This is uh, Matthew verse I mean Salaki Matthew chapter 19 Verse 27 then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have um, therefore? All right. This is because the disciples, uh, the Lord said, man, uh, uh, basically the, to, to, to for, forsake everything and follow him and pick up our cross and follow him. All right. Just like uh, in the ancient time, that's what he told, told Peter in the 12, you know what I'm saying? But also now in this day. You know, we got to, he told us to, 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 to leave the world, you know, be not partakers of the world, you know, and, and follow him, follow his ways. All right. And, and, and with you following your how about Shimei you know, um, he's going to put you like the scripture also goes into it, man. If, if, if you come to serve the Lord, prepare our soul for temptation. So he's, he's, um, how he's, he's putting you through that fire, right? He's going to put you through that fire. So that means, uh, the pleasure of the world you might not receive, you know, a lot of things that you that, that you see the people of the world receiving, you're not going to receive that. So it's the same as, as, as according to this this um, chapter in this verse. And it says, um, really, I'm going to read it once again. They answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? And Yahweh shall I said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration. All right. Let's look up that word. Salaki. Let's look up that word real quick. All right. And it says that the action, the action or process of regenerating or being regenerated. All right. And particularly the formation of new animals or plant tissue. All right. So basically, uh, um, what is it? Salaki. Reincarnation. That's what it is. So reincarnation. All right. So it says, um, verse 28, and, and Yahweh shall said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the re regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit, shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye shall also sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. All right. And he's making this, like he said, he's going to be judging the twelve tribes of Israel, just like King Solomon prayed and asked for a wise uh, a, un, a wise and understanding heart to judge such a great people, a great multitude, which was the nation of Israel. At that time, they was together. The, uh, the northern and southern kingdom was all together. But now, in the, the time when uh, Yahweh Shah sits upon his throne, he's going to give the elect that same uh, capability because of what he has given them on this side, which was the preparation to that, that, um, that, that, that reward. All right? And it says, judging the 12, the 12 tribes of Israel and everyone that have forsaken house, houses or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or land for my name's sake shall receive an hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. Now, that's where that long life comes in. All right. That's where that long life comes in. So now you're going to receive you're going to be sitting on judging the 12, uh, the 12 tribes, which is going to be uh, making you a judge. But also this says you're going to be sitting on, on you're going to sit upon the 12 throne. So when you receive a throne that makes you a king. All right. There's going to be a king under Yahweh Shah. All right. So this is um, and it says, so you're going to be a king. You're going to be judging. Right. You're going to inherit. A hundredfold of all that you have lost, which is uh, which is substance, which is which is which is uh, 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 riches, and also said and shall inherit everlasting life, which is which is uh, um, a long life, you know, which is beautiful. All right. 
So I'm going to just end it off on this last one. Re Revelation 3. Is it 11? Yep, come. Okay, I'm going to just read that. Um, verse 10. All right. And it says, Because thou hast kept the words of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. All right. So once again, it's keeping something. Holding the words of, of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua and those things that he spake of, right? And uh, which was prepping us for the time which is to come, and also prepping us, uh, you know, Lord's will for the kingdom. All right, and it says, "Which shall come upon all the earth to try them that dwell upon the earth." All right, and it says, "Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, and that no man take." The, it said, "That no man take thy crown." All right, so. Hey, man, through the Spirit, you know, Lord's will, we're part of that number. We're part of that elect, that 144,000. We already received the crowns because the Lord said he declared the end from the beginning. We already received it. It's just we have to play our parts to, to, to physically receive it. So it can be actually put upon our heads. That way the Lord can, uh, 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 you know, he's going to fight. Because he said, it's, oh, man, got to get another precept. All right, the Lord said this. Salaki, bear with me. Oh, man. Just bear with me one second. All right, this is Hebrews 6 and 10. For Yahweh Hashem Yahushah is not unrighteous to forget your works and labor of love, which ye have shown towards his name, in that ye have ministered to the saints who are Israelites, who are the Israelites, and do minister. All right, which is our duty. All right, because he said, if you love me, keep my commandments. He told us to go on the highways and byways. You know, he says, cry out loud, spare not. You know, lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgression. You know, be in season, not a season. So as the scripture said, man, you know, uh, we kept the word of his patient. You know, he's going to keep us from the hour of temptation. And also, when you read down, it says that, you know, let no man take thy crown. All right. So this is what we have to look forward to. But mainly as, 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 the, as the lesson is, um, with wisdom comes many ben benefits. All right. And pr prime example is, is Yahweh Shai, you know. Prime example is uh, King David. Uh, uh, prime example, King Solomon. Prime example, uh, Daniel. You know, and all these prophets, you know, and, and uh, all the great men that was uh, written in the, in, the, in the scriptures. All right. So, you know, with that, I want to give all praises on the glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Makar Kadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well, who has taught us this truth. Citation to the hopeful elect, the Akim out here laboring the truth and sincerity in the four corners of the earth, understanding and the banner of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushua Bahashim Makar Kodash. And with that, I want to say Shalom and Abad Babal.